who in their right mind would pay for negative cash flow? I'm talking about you buying real estate. In the month, you actually make less money than it's going to cost you to pay your mortgage on the property, right? That's happening. Deals are getting done like that all over the market right now. And so a lot of investors are, are, are saying, Jason, hey, why is this happening? Who is doing this? It doesn't make any sense, but it actually does if you understand it. This is no different than single family space, right? People pay for land, right? That doesn't have any building or structure on it, no income from the land, but they'll still buy for it because they know in the future they can do something with that land that makes it make sense. So in multifamily, we've done this on properties where we'll go out here and come up with a pro forma that says, all right, give us about six months. We're going to be able to shift this property in a major way so that we can take it from not making barely any money or even in cases negative cash flow. But once we put in a business plan of renovations, of lowering expenses, of being able to turn the property around, we actually model that out. And in that model, you'll be able to say, like, okay, between six to 12 months, we're going to be able to break even. And then from month 12 onwards, we're going to have a positive cash flow. So when you're in a competitive market right that right like we are right now, and you try to just go out and win deals based on a lot of cash flow on day one, it gets very challenging for you to be able to do that. So if you know what you're doing and you've got a good team behind you, you've executed on it, you could actually look into the future and say, all right, if we make these decisions right here and we're comping these properties out, it's not just coming out of the top of our head when we come to pro forma. We actually do a market analysis of the property to say, all right, well, this property is able to get this much in rental income. And we've got maybe two other properties in a close vicinity that are able to do similar numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up with a plan where we can get our income level up to that. So we buy it. We put it on the contract knowing that it's going to take 6 to 12 months for us to be able to turn it around. But after that time period, now we've got positive positive cash flow. Some people who who aren't ready to buy like that, who aren't willing to buy like that, who say I want, you know, I want to get 8% of my money day one. I want to get uh 7% cash or cash day one. Look, those times are behind us right now. And, and maybe it comes back, maybe it doesn't. But you got to understand that you can buy properties like that right now to go make deals.